everyone, my name is Tweet Two Shoes, and welcome to Amnesia Custom Story Key to Freedom. So I saw this on the uh, Amnesia Custom Story Mods uh, website, or mod.db, bd, I can't remember, uh, the other day, and I downloaded it, and it looked really good, it got really high ratings, um, I wanted to really check it out, I haven't been really immersed in this game in a long time. And I kind of just wanted to go, to go back to it, and this mod looked really cool. And I really wanted to play it. Mr. Wilkinson, the headmaster of Dwarf Institute for Misbehaved Youngsters. Almost sounds like, um, kind of like a spin off of like a Harry Potter thing. Has presented me a challenge in response to my most recent efforts of escape. He promises me that I accept and complete the task. He will allow me to leave the Institute. Bonus developers, commentary included. Very cool. All I need to do is find a key, a key that will unlock a safe deposit box located at a local bank. The key, of course, is situated in the old mansion. He won't tell me why the place has been sealed off and abandoned, or how I will get inside. But one thing's for sure, I won't let this opportunity pass by. So we gotta do one last job, or a job of some sort, of getting a key to get a lockbox, to probably get some money, or get an envelope, some kind of blackmail evidence, or whatever it is that we're getting. So that black thing coming out of the eye, that looks different than normal because it usually is just regular eyes. I also turned the gamma up a little bit. I'm used to playing in a lot darker environments when I play these horror games. Um, but I turned it up a little bit because I've noticed in the past um, when I put videos up on YouTube that they're a little too dark. Fictional games. Red Pass games. It's gonna seem it is gonna keep showing <laughs> production companies. Red Pass <laughs> and Amnesia Custom Story. That's really cool. So that, that looks like it's a, a Wild West font. Key to Freedom. As the name ensues, key to freedom, we're trying to get the key to unlock the box. Woo! Very cool. Alright young man, I want you out of Dwarfen Institute and I want the key. So you're gonna have to follow my instructions explicitly, if we're both gonna get what we want. I sent you out there to ex exactly the thing you're good at. Breaking in at and out of a complex, my men and I have prevented you from escaping Dwarven Institute, but there is no one stopping you from breaking into Ashbury Manor. Ashbury Manor. Excuse me. That should make things easy for you. So go ahead, break into this abandoned mansion, find the key, and I will give you your freedom. Well, okay, sir. I am okay with that. So the front door is locked. So maybe if we can find some kind of rock, we can break the window. Maybe we can use this bucket. There's no rope attached. We can't jump in there. Is there any rocks we can use? Hmm. Oh, here's a box. Perfect. Onto the box. Go to the window. Ha! That was pretty cool. So I like that I did adjust the gamma a little bit because. Um, usually in these games, I do lose, uh, my... There must be another way in. Back. The door is locked, okay. So, there might be... What is this? It's still locked. So, it's not one of those doors you can just... Since we're cool, we're gonna break both windows, you know, because we're like, 
Yeah, yeah, we like vandalizing and stuff. I'm gonna turn this all the way and see what happens. Nothing. Can we get can we get down? It it kind of like went weird weird on this for a second. Um Maybe we can use the box through the door because you know we like breaking stuff. And I like breaking stuff. This is this would like be our box of uh We could use to like join the Avengers, we can use it and throw stuff and break stuff. Oh. Very clever. I like that. Okay, so we've, this is, oh, we found on this hole. So we actually wanted to go down the well. And that is locked as it perceives. I can see the lens, I'm unable to reach it. Well, you dingus, you can try crawling through. You're a cat, right? Meow. Or you can just grab that lantern. It's too dark. I need some light before I can progress. It probably says that, doesn't it? I just like to read stuff. Okay. No, you don't. Hulk smash! I can't Hulk smash it. That's too bad. So that door is inaccessible. Yeah, I thought it was inaccessible. Okay, so there got to be something. Maybe another door. I think this is the door we're supposed to go through, but we can't because we need to find the lantern. I mean, not find the lantern. Get to the lantern. So maybe there's this. Oh, maybe we, there's a stick or something we can grab. Can we fall down there? No. Is there like some sort of stick we can grab? Some kind of crude tool. Maybe a lever of some sort? Maybe one of the lanterns is... Whoa. Yeah, rock! What you think? Maybe I can use... Maybe I need to hit... Take this rock. That is super cool. All right. That is awesome. So I think I turned the game up a little bit, but I, I like this. Um, might turn it down. Oh. All right. You know, these boxes are just too heavy for my strongness. Oh, hello there. Whoa, look at that. Mr. Bojangles. He's Mr. Jangly Boys. He's a jangly boy, guys. So, that is Landrum. That is the key we were looking for. And let's just take this for protection. And we could be like the guy from James Bond. Oh, no, not James Bond. Well, yeah, I guess he had his... His, his um... Let's see if this key works. Cannot use this key this way. That key was not born that way. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't be a little dingleberry. Counter strike, crouch jump. Oh, snap, it worked. So, I'm not sure. Maybe we need some acid. Wink, wink, ha, ha, ha. Maybe I'm not using the right key. So that looks familiar, these, these crude tools. Cannot pull that out.
Is there something I am missing? A shovel. Take this shovel as your guardian weapon. Maybe I need to get somewhere over these boxes, maybe? Back, get back in the loot group. Maybe I use the key on his... What? I should I think I should take this key. It might work on another door. Let's check over here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy, he is. He's looking for our body. Okay, you go that way. I'll go this way. Yeah. You do. That is an empty jar. Oh, come on. Let's be like Link and take those empty jars. Or not. What is this, mead? I need mead. I need mead. I think there was uh, some more stairs we could check, but I wanted to check the first door. Hopefully this was a closed off room. But there's only one way in, one way in and one way out. <clears throat> Always remember, when you get stuck, check your note, check your notes and mementos. This is a long hallway. If I make it inside, I should read more about Mr. Wilkinson's food instructions. Okay, so that... Of course. So let's read his further instructions. Once you make it inside, try to find your way to the entrance hall. There you will find the elevator. You might also notice the mansion has some well-lit rooms. We don't know what is responsible for lighting the candles though throughout the mansion, but if there is some still living here, and there is a small chance that the elevator will, will be operational. If not, then you will have to make, make find a way to power it. Oh my gosh, you're a smart boy. I don't feel very smart right now, I'll tell you that. I am tongue twisting everything. Wow, this is incredible. Wow. This person did an amazing job. Uh, I must... I must find the... Okay. So, this is the entrance hall. And now we need to find the elevator. So this kind of looks like... A little bit like that one hall, if it was combined with... Um, the one hall you run into and all the pillars are down. Except this one, I think, has higher ceilings. This looks like it was, uh... Mashed together with another. Okay, so... This might be the elevator. That would be a really big door for an elevator. This is the main door. I'm really glad in this game that you don't run out of stamina so quickly. Okay. I'm looking for any. Maybe the elevator's upstairs because I am so smart. I did not think of that first. Here she is. Oh, that looks like the elevator. Come on, guys. Okay, either I am really stupid or I, this is the entrance hall. Don't feel so smart. Oh, please don't tell me this is the elevator. That's really funny. Doo -doo -girl. I need to find a way to power the elevator. The generator must be in the basement. So this must be uh, leading us further down to the basement. So I'm assuming that that's what our memento said. All right. And obviously that's locked. That's the main door. So I think this is maybe actually the way to the basement. This is going to collapse. So I need to find something that help me down. Why can't... Can I just jump down? Screw it. You have to carry on. Carry on my wayward seal. That's not the words. 
Shut up, you don't tell me what you can't do what they do. I'm from SeaWorld. What? Maybe, um, so this door was locked. So we ran up here. We need to find something that'll help us climb down. Maybe some kind of rope. So let's check. Can't go out the main gate. It's probably locked. Well, that's our way out after we grab the uh, after we grab the what's in the lockbox. So let's check over here. Of course, it's locked. And these doors look quite interesting. Oh, is that a ghost? Not uh, probably. Who cares? Thank you for lighting my way. Obviously, someone's trying to help me in this miserable place. Where's my juice? My jungle juice. Just kidding. It's just Dr. Pepper. I don't really drink soda anymore. It's so bad for you. But every once in a while, you know, I get a craving for it. That and candy. Hello, Mr. Knights. How are you guys doing tonight? I'm sorry, friend, you lost an arm. Is there a secret in there? Nope. Just no arm. Oh! What the hell? Oh, brain, stop making bacon. Gosh. What? What was that sound? Oh, hello, Mr. Friend. Thank you so much. You are a gentleman and a scholar. And since we're crazy, I don't want to fall to my death. Well, maybe I can fly. I can fly. Take a look in a book. Reading Rainbow. Can do anything. Maybe if we fix. Ooh. 27th October 1878. The household appears to be under, nevertheless. Okay, so. I wanna. I like his voice, but I wanna read it myself. October 27, 1878. The household appears to be under tremendous strain. The sudden illness of Lord Gregory Harrington the Fourth appears to be. T taking his toll on everyone, especially Madame L Lydia. She seems to, drained, to be drained and exhausted. The severity of Lord Gregory's pneumonia concerns her right now, night and day. So pneumonia, that is pneumo, or this word right here, is a, um, is the Greek prefix for lung. So, and it's just sickness of the lung. Concerns her right now and Night and day. I think she has observed the same thing I have. Lord Gregory is afraid of losing more than her, just his life. Neither him nor young Madeline Lydia have any posterity in an in inherit Ashbury Manor with all its estates and wealth. Nevertheless, nevertheless, we are exerting ourselves to make sure matters run smoothly. The servants are frantically trying to keep things in order while Lord Gregory advises are taking care of County matters? I almost said country matters. Woohoo! Oh, and how I miss the days when the father he headed his this household. Nothing was at stake, and everything seemed perfect. I certainly look at look that time of my life. Took my time of life. Oh my gosh, I am doing terrible. All right, a knife. Picked up a knife. Well, if we're gonna drink, we're drink like kings. Head. Oh. Well, I really wanted to play piano, but fortunately, this game is not letting me do my piano solo. So we picked up a knife. Okay, now I gotta figure out what the knife is for. Cutting cheese, you say? Oh. Hello, hello.
It was quite obvious. I think this might be the door to open. Oh! What was that? This knight is missing an arm and seems to be pointing at something. You pointing at your mother's drapes? Oh! Thank you, Mr. Knight. That was a... Uh, picked up a key, you say? I can, I'm really strong. I can pick up all sorts of things. This is where we'll leave off this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, remember to wear your two shoes. Bye now.